Hello, my name is Caden, and today we're going to be talking about how to change the Swift tool in your Zix Pro 3D printer. When you purchase a multi-material extension kit, you'll receive three different Swift tools. The first is a 0.4 Swift tool marked yellow. For finer precision prints, we have a 0.2 Swift tool marked red. And for faster printing, we have a 0.8 Swift tool marked green. The Swift tool that is currently in the Zix Pro is a Carbon 0.6, which comes standard. So today I'm going to change that out for the 0.4. First thing I'm going to do is just take off the top cover so I have easier access to the print head. The next thing I need to do, because I currently have filament loaded into the print head, is to unload that filament. To unload the filament, I'm going to go to Utilities, Filament Loading, and select Unload. The Swift tool in the print head will now warm up, and once it's warm enough, it will beep to tell me I can start unloading the filament. From this point, I need to give it about 15 to 20 seconds for the filament to work its way out of the current Swift tool and then I can remove it from the print head. Just going to remove the filament. I just need to get the filament out from the print head itself and then I can do my Swift tool swap. So I'm just going to roll the filament back onto the spool a bit. And then I just put the spool right back in the printer. So at this point, I don't have any filament in my Swift tool, and I can tell the printer that it needs to change Swift tools. To do this, I hit the green button to stop unloading, then the left button to go back to the Utilities menu, and I'm going to choose the first item on the Utilities menu, which is Swift Tool Swap. By selecting that, the printer will turn on its front fan to cool the current Swift tool. Once the Swift tool is at a cool enough temperature for me to touch, it will give me on-screen instructions to begin doing the change. Now the front fan has turned off and the screen is going to begin telling me how to change the Swift tool. To do this, I'm going to need one of the Allen wrenches from my toolbox. It's the next to the largest size. To open the front fan, you just put pressure on the top left corner and it rotates over its bottom right corner. Now I can follow the instructions on screen for how to change the Swift tool. The first instruction says unscrew Swift tool lock screw. As far as possible, press green button. The Swift tool lock screw is in the center set of screws on the print head. You can access it through this hole right in between the two lock symbols. If I put my Allen wrench through, I can then unscrew. It's very important that I unscrew as far as possible, but that I don't try to unscrew it past this front panel here. The screw should stop right on the inside of that front panel. Then I will press the green button. Next it says pull out Swift Tool cable and pull down Swift Tool. Press the green button. The Swift Tool cables are connected where these red and black cables go, right here on the print head. If I reach in, I can just squeeze slightly and pull them out. When I do that, the fan on the top of the print head will turn on automatically. Next, I can pull out the Swift tool because I already know it's been cooled. It's okay to touch. So I can come under the print head and grab where the Swift tool hangs down and just pull it straight out. I will press the green button. Next, it says insert new Swift tool and reassemble. Press green button. So to insert my new Swift tool, I'm going to press it up 
and the hole in the bottom of the printhead. And while I hold it up there, I'm going to connect the connectors from my new Swift tool into the printhead here. And once that's connected, you'll hear that the fan on the top of the printhead has turned off. From this point, I need to rescrew in the lock screw. And when I'm doing this, it's very important that I press up on the bottom of the Swift tool to hold it as high as possible in the printhead. So with one hand, I'm going to press it up. And the other one, I'm going to screw the lock screw. So I wanna make sure the Swift tool lock screw is in all the way. And then once it stops, I can let go of the Swift tool. And I can close the front fan just by pushing it back over its bottom right corner. And then I press the green button and it takes me back to the utilities menu because I'm done. And now I can print with PLA, ABS, ProFlex um, on the black build plate. Thank you very much.